Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Stian Angermund Vic before the 2016 Zagama Marathon. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm feeling great. <laughs> yeah, this is your uh, first trip to Zagama. What have you heard about the race? Uh, yes, yeah, the first trip, and uh, just been talking to friends to say that if they want, it's the one race you need to do, and this is Zagama. And why is that? Just because of the people I heard. They're uh, really great. And you actually get uh, two tastes of that because you're running the marathon on Sunday, but to this afternoon you'll also run the vertical kilometer, yes? Yes, yeah, true. I think when I'm finally here, I need to run as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an easy day on Saturday? Yeah, probably. Just take it easy. <laughs> now, have you run a vertical kilometer before? Oh, yes, plenty. Plenty, yeah? Yeah. Um, several here, two, two times before here in Spain, but not here. And do you train toward that or do you mostly train for the, the sky distance races? Uh, in Norway, it's uh, most popular with the uphill running races. So, yeah. um, I've been, yeah, because of that, I've been training more for the VK. You really? Yeah, but the VK is good for, VK training is good for uh, sky races. Uh, that said, last year and the year before, you had some really good results in sort of sky distances. Yeah. What are some of those highlights? Uh, the biggest highlights for me have been um, uh, the Buff Epic Trail last year, yeah. World Championship in Skyrunning. Which you won. Yeah, the weekend Sky Race. So that was a good, good <laughs> weekend for me. Yeah. <laughs> and you've also had good success at Glencoe and Tromso. Yeah, I did uh, in Glencoe. It's a really nice race. I did run the, the short Sky Race there, 29k okay. and uh, a VK there. It was so beautiful. And uh, Tromso as well? Was that two yeah. years ago or was that last year? Uh, both. Both, yeah. The VK there, the Blomann vertical. It's uh, a little bit with scrambling and uh, it's quite a cool race. So you've done a, quite a bit of racing these t past two years, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, I like to travel around and uh, look at new places and uh, see new culture. Now, how long? What do, what's your history in sport? Do you come from it from another background or have you always been a runner? No, I've been doing biathlon earlier when I was a teenager. Uh, I was not like super good at it, but it was cool sport. And uh, when I was around 20, I did stop uh, doing sport for some years and then uh, took up more running and uh, just doing more and more of that the last couple of years. Now, what got you into to running? What was the what was the draw? Or how did you really get into it? No, I was just starting with my cousin invited me to a local race where the city where I live now in Bergen in Norway, mm -hmm. a local uphill race. Uh, and uh, I did that for some years and found that this is cool. <laughs> I want to do more of that. And when did you decide to sort of go all in with, you know, to compete at a very high level in sky running? Um, it's, I did not like decide now I'm going for it. It's like it happens a little bit more and more. And, uh, the results is, uh, become a little bit better and uh, better and uh, is trying to train more and more. So I would assume you're going to make uh, an attempt to, to do really well in the entire sky running series this year? Uh, I'm uh, doing uh, not the whole series. No. Uh, there's so many races. I can't, I'm not strong enough to race so much. So um, I'm going to do six of the VK races. So that means I'm doing the VK series. Yeah. And uh, just three of the sky races in the series. But that's enough to, to, and that, play, and that, to, to place in the series, yeah? Yeah, it's enough to have fun. Is that your goal to, to try to become world champion in one of those series, either the vertical kilometer or the sky race? Uh, I'm not sure what to expect, uh, yeah. how the level is, but uh, hopefully doing good. But uh, I'm not focusing on the whole series, just... Uh, trying to do as good as possible the places I go to and um, yeah. So this weekend is Zagama. Um, it's a kind of almost two different races. The yeah. first half of the race is it's not flat but it's rolling and, and fast and then in the second half there's a ton of climbing, really technical sections, some steep downhill. Um, how are you going to approach those two different sections? Uh, I think the first part is just to try to run with the others and uh, not to waste too much energy not uh, push too much and uh, then uh, my weakness is the downhill so uh, <laughs> you anticipated the, my question so yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the, the last part of the race is downhill so uh, I think I need to try to save some energy there to that uh, section so yeah <laughs> so what do you what do you think holds you back on the downhill is it just uh, how fast you can move your legs or is it uh, on technical trail particularly what's what's the challenge for you 
uh, and maybe it's like a mental thing not to tr uh, I'm not tough enough to like push all as fast as I can and downhill maybe um, I'm not used to run so much downhill so I'm trying to do more in the training but uh, of course if, if it's very technical I'm struggling a little bit <laughs> well you'll certainly have a some train to practice on on Sunday. Yeah. Um, now, is there any part of the race that you're really looking forward to, or any aspect? Uh, I heard. Uh, I don't know the names of all the yeah. places in, uh, but I heard some of the climbs have a lot of uh, uh, spectators. So I'm really, really looking forward to those places. All of the climbs up high have a lot of spectators. It's pretty amazing uh, atmosphere. That, that's good to hear. So when you get to Spiriti San or Sancti Spiritu, uh, a little after mid race, uh, it's around mid-race there's just thousands of people good weather bad weather all cheering you on that sounds amazing so uh then the maybe it will be difficult to not run slow enough <laughs> i'm guessing people probably go a little harder than they should on that climb <laughs> but uh maybe that helps them reach their potential yeah maybe uh, i heard like uh, even though we have a, like a bad race there you do, you have a good race because of the people so yeah, I think it's an experience you'll enjoy. Now, uh, how about your training in Norway? What is the the training like near Bergen? No, it's uh, the Bergen is a really nice place for uh, mountain running. We have small, cozy mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are maybe around 600 meters tall, but they are so close to the city. So after work, I just uh, use maybe half an hour to be on the top of the mountain and then run up and down several mountains and then enjoy myself. Sounds perfect. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so you can, I mean, 600 meters, that's most of the way through a VK. Uh. Yeah, and you do that a couple of times, you get a lot of climb. <laughs> Re uh, interval training, yeah? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, you said you, you don't feel like you're tough enough on the descents, but to me, the doing a vertical kilometer is so difficult because you're really working hard for, you know, yeah. between 30 and 40 minutes. How do you push through that? I need to uh, like uh, be prepared for the pain and uh, yeah, focus on uh, when you're uh, struggling with a lot of pain, you can push forward and uh, continue. And uh, yeah, I know that all the other people around you are struggling just as much as I am. So. Now, I find it interesting. A lot of the runners who come, a lot of people who do the VK might use poles, and especially people who come from a a Nordic skiing background, I would think, yeah. but you don't. Why is that? I don't like uh, poles. It's just for skiing. <laughs> for, for me, it's just for skiing. I, I never run with poles, so uh, yeah. So none today, none on Sunday. <laughs> no, absolutely no. Too, uh, too much things to handle. It's, uh, to handle the legs is more than enough. More than enough. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, best of luck in both races and enjoy. Yeah, thank you.